What's going on guys, Sean Gattier back with another video. Guys, this is gonna be a high military fade. My guy in the video was a Marine. I don't really ever know how to say that. He's not an ex-Marine. I don't know if that makes him a veteran. If anybody knows the answer, let me know down below. But he was in the Marines. He likes the real tight fade. Of course, now he doesn't have all the stipulations, so he can kind of have some length on top for a full hawk. But anyway guys, it will be a pretty high fade with a full hawk on top. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right to it. going in with our two guard clothes. This is gonna be a military high fade. And really the difference guys, the only thing that makes it a military fade is we're gonna take the weight all the way off. The clipper over comb is gonna go straight off the parietal ridge and into the top. And the bald line's gonna start out a little bit higher than normal. The fade will be stretched normal. Uh, but like I said, we'll start the bald line from the C cup. We're gonna take it straight around the back of the head. Go ahead and use the shaver underneath to ball it out, and then we'll do our fade above that. And it's gonna go pretty tight right up into the top of the head. Not much weight or anything like that. And that's why I really said this is a, a military high bald fade. He was a Marine, and he likes a high and tight basically. So uh, not quite a high and tight, but as close as you're gonna see on my channel. First step, as always, will be the clipper with the lever all the way open. We're gonna go with about three quarters of an inch and establish our first guideline. Then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. Because we punched the line in with our slim lines, we're gonna go ahead and scoop the line out with the same trimmer. That will be the first step in this section, and then we can work our way up from there. After that, we'll come in with the clipper all the way closed, and we're gonna focus on the bottom third of this section. So we'll bump the line up just a little bit. That'll leave a line a little bit higher that we will take out with the clipper halfway open. Once we've done all three of those steps, we'll come in and use the lever to take out any dark spots that are left behind. Next step will be the one guard all the way open and we're gonna go up another three quarters of an inch. We're gonna establish that section and then we can begin to work that line out from underneath. Now we'll come in with the one guard all the way closed and we'll go two thirds of the way up into that section. That should leave a slight line at the bottom of that section that will come out with the half guard. Now you can see we're gonna use the half guard like a magic eraser. We're gonna come through that line and it's gonna blend both of those sections together. Then we can move up from there. After that, we started with our two closed, but I wanna make sure that everything is cut down to a two closed before I try to blend in with a one and a half. So I'll just come in with my two closed again and start to connect that to the top. Then we can come in with the one and a half and take the last line out that's left. You 
You guys can see the one and a half got it most of the way together and now we can come back with our one open and clean up anything that's left behind. And if we need to close it and work our way down after that, we can. All right, we're gonna do the same exact steps on the other side so you guys follow along and see if you can keep up with what we're doing. Then we'll come back together when we finish up the back. I wanna to touch on something real quick. I talked about it on my last video, but I feel like most people don't really use YouTube as it's intended. Um, so if you guys aren't aware, you are supposed to make your own account. You can subscribe to different channels that you enjoy. And that way, every time you get on YouTube, you have a list of your subscriptions and all the newest content. And that helps you guys keep up with the content. Not only that, guys, but if you're not subscribed to my channel and you're watching the videos, it's not helping out as much as it can. So if you guys are watching all my videos, double check, make sure you're subscribed. Every time you subscribe, if you hit the thumbs up on it, if you leave a comment, all those things help our channels grow and tells YouTube that our content is interesting. So without those likes and comments and subscriptions, YouTube will not recommend our videos. And that means some of these videos just die. They don't get many views. YouTube doesn't think they're interesting and it doesn't help our content get out. So if you guys aren't subscribed, aren't hitting that thumbs up, aren't leaving any comments, I would greatly appreciate it if you will, especially if you watch all my videos, go ahead and hook your boy up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It uh, definitely helps out a lot. But anyways, now we're on to the back of the head. We've done our open section. Now we're coming in with the clipper closed and then half open immediately after that. And you guys can see that section is going away. Part of this section, we have to make sure we connect to both sides. So you guys will see, I'll work my way over to the side and make sure that connects to the fade we already did. Now again, I'm coming in with the two closed to make sure that all of this is cut down. Then we'll do our open one section. So now we're doing an open one. We'll immediately close it up and come up into that section. The half guard will take out the line at the bottom of that section. coming in with the one and a half to blend in the one to the two and I'm just making sure that that all connects before we move on if I need to go back to the open one and work my way back down to clean it up I will but you guys can see that brought it together so now I'm gonna go in and clip her over comb like I said we're not gonna leave hardly any weight on this haircut so I'm taking the comb straight up the parietal ridge taking off anything that connects and then we can tackle the top really the part I was telling you guys that kind of makes this a high and tight it's really not technically a high and tight this is absolutely the highest fade that I do no weight on the sides you guys know my style that I like to cut and he is a marine so uh, this is a haircut he got frequently so you guys will see he has a calic on both sides we're gonna basically cut this like a faux hawk so I'm gonna start off with a vertical guideline straight down the middle I'm gonna set my length and then we're really gonna connect it to the sides. so it's gonna slope down from each side from the middle and we're just going to connect it it's going to style mostly into a faux hawk he has definitely some tricky hair you guys will see now i'm going to take my center guide and my guide from the side and we're just going to connect that and like i said it's going to almost be shaped into a faux hawk so that's how he likes to wear it you guys see the calic on each side of his hairline uh, that's just what's going to work best for his hair Now I'll do a vertical section to cross check. Make sure that we don't have anything sticking out past any other hair, just to make sure we got a nice even cut on top and then we'll move on. I'm gonna do a slight edge up here. He does like his vertical bars cleaned up. We're not gonna do a full hairline, but we'll take his vertical bars up and kind of hit the hair in the corner. Some of those hairs are short and are down on his forehead. So I'm just gonna take off what doesn't fit into his natural hairline and then we'll be done with the edge up. All right, we're gonna add some product, we'll style it up. This is just a pomade. I'm just gonna basically style it into a faux hawk. Like I said, guys, this is the shape that his hair wants to go. 
It's what he likes the best. He has one picture from when I cut his hair one time that he always shows me. But anyway, guys, there is the before. You can see it's grown out. He's got some crazy hair. Got the gray strip in the front. Uh, and you guys can see he definitely needed one. And there's the after, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a high military fade. Faux hawk on top. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of haircuts you guys want to see next. Like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time.